Hello everybody, Yellow Mustang here again with another Roblox video. Uh, today we're back in the game development part two. So last time we were designing this guy, our first enemy here, and we will continue to design him now. Uh, I was trying to make this stomach not look like a t-shirt because it looks like he's got sleeves here. So let's go ahead and fix this. Let's make his back blue. There we go. Maybe his tail should be a different color, but I don't know. We're trying to base it off of this. And then I think I noticed, let's see, are his teeth the right color? Did I get all of his teeth? Lily or institutional white? Yeah, it looks good. All right, uh, what do we do for his eyes? His eyes look so, so soulless. And I was thinking his head looks too square also. So let's, let's bring this in a little bit yeah we'll bring this in a little bit and then we'll have some some good old wedges on the side of his head it's gonna be great all right let's duplicate this let's do the rotato into the dms okay this at the proper height hopefully perfect it's amazing i think it's upside down though so rotate this so this is going to be one of the weaker enemies, I was thinking. Um, there's going to be a lot of enemies. This is one of the smaller ones. All the enemies are going to be, like, different. Nothing's going to look like a Roblox character in this game. Everything's going to be custom modeled, I think. Um, maybe, maybe we'll have some Roblox, like, standard characters, but I want to kind of avoid that. Because I want to make this game, like, stand out. Like, it's gonna feel like Roblox, but I don't want it to be Roblox. Like, I don't know. I want it to be something unique. Everyone does those shit, you know, simulator games where you're just your normal character. No one puts in effort. And they get millions of players. And then I'm left in the dust here making this shitty <laughs> dinosaur thing. But let's not get into that. Okay. So, completely white eyes, I guess. Looks okay. I mean, this... I mean, this is, this will be pretty good when we have them, like, moving around and stuff. I mean, things always look worse when they're standing completely still, I guess. If we're going to give them shoes, let's, let's shrink these down a bit. Probably going to be uneven, but whatever. All right, let's, let's make this higher. This guy's going to be such a pain in the ass to animate. I hate animating things. I don't know about you guys, but it is so bad all my animations are so bad let's see all right get that in there and then we will make it black oh uh, yeah there we go he's got like some loafers on that looks pretty good let's slide this over here <laughs> all right well okay this is the wrong color let's see let's select both of these at once do the time speed so it's just normal black okay not bad not bad at all, my boy. All right, that's looking pretty good. Um, what what else do we gonna do for him? I guess somebody in my comments section, I made like a video on like I made a video on like creating on the Bigfoot video on like how to animate the Bigfoot. And, like, people were saying, like, I'm using the wrong plugin for, um, for animating things. Okay, so this will be his right shoulder. Left shoulder. Shoulder. This will be left arm. Then right arm. Okay, so just go through and label all this stuff here. So this is like the main neck. So we'll name this like neck main. This can be neck top. It's really hard to like talk and do this at the same time. Uh, neck wedge. Neck wedge. I don't think everything needs to be named uniquely. I don't think it really matters. 
But there's going to be a new plugin that I'm going to use that's different because there's apparently a, a Roblox like um, character creator that like speeds this up pretty quick. It makes it a lot easier. So we're going to try that. All right, I head. All right, and what would this be like? Head wedge, I guess. Head wedge. Okay, we've got the shoulders, belly. We got this. This is going to be our torso. And you know what? I didn't make sure any of these parts are like facing the right way, did I? Okay, so humanoids is super important that stuff faces the right way. Oh no. No, we messed up. We messed up, guys. Oh god. All right. Well, the right surf. Oh, that's the right surface. I meant to click front. Front. Okay. It's not as bad as it could have been. Let's make sure top surface on top. Okay, so it's just, it's completely backwards. This is easy to fix. So front, we will rotate to the front. Okay, there we go. This is the same thing with the head. As things get a little bit weird, if you don't have everything facing the right way. Okay, so that's the only important things is the head and the torso need to be facing forward. Everything else doesn't matter. Because it's kind of just gonna, it's kind of just going to be, uh, it's just gonna follow suit. Uh, do left, left shoe. I don't know why a lizard man would have shoes in the first place, but you know the, the six-year-olds that are playing this game on their mom's iPad is not gonna care. Uh, right shoe. Or maybe nobody's going to play this game, and that would be even better. All right, right leg. I'd probably prefer if nobody plays this game. We'll just keep this game a secret. Left leg. Okay. All right. I'm trying my best to talk and name this shit at the same time, and it's really difficult. Did we miss anything? Let's group this together. Oh, uh, what did we miss? What is this? This is the lower, lower jaw. Uh, what else? Part... Isn't this the torso? Wait, where's the torso at? Torso. Did I forget to name the torso? Yeah, I was probably freaking out and didn't name the torso. Okay. Well, now we'll name it. There we go, the torso. All right, so everything looks pretty good except for these wedges. What are these? Uh, this is like his uh, left hip. And this is probably his right hip. It doesn't matter if everything's named, but it's going to make it a lot easier on us when we're using the animation tool or whatever to get this guy moving. So the last thing we need for this, this weird dude, and he ended up coming out pretty big. He's bigger than I wanted him to be. Yeah, he's pretty large, huh? Or well, whatever. Whatever. You know what? I don't care. All right, so now we're going to duplicate the torso. This is going to be the humanoid root part, and we're going to change the transparency to 1. Yeah, transparency to 1. And then it needs to be can collide false. And this is like the most important part of the whole body right here, is the humanoid root part. Humanoids have to have that. So we will name this guy, I don't know, lizard lizard enemy for now and we need to set the primary part to be the humanoid root part or we're gonna have issues when we go to animate them so we will go humanoid root part good great okay now let's go into uh, humanoid great now we have our lizard man is alive all right now we need to um we need to figure out how to animate him now and I forgot to set the timer for this video, so that's great. Let's uh, get that going now. Okay, so let's let's figure out what uh what animation thing that guy was talking about. Uh, what's gonna be the easiest way to find this? Go here, videos, uh, animation. Yeah, this one. This is where people were were roasting me. I'll pause that. I don't want to hear my own voice. Uh, 
Yeah, right here. Kevin Lee, why don't you use the character creation plugin? Okay, well, we're gonna use it now. Uh, Roblox character creation plugin. Beta. Uh oh. Is this what people use? It looks pretty good. It's got a lot of, a lot of thumbs up. So, uh, we'll go with that. All right, we're downloading. All right, we're going. Yes, let's install. It's designed to make joints. Okay, I'm not much for reading. Okay, seems like we're installed. I don't know if I'm gonna have to like reboot to get this to work. Where is studio? Okay, plugins. I don't see it. All right, let's save this. Save this trip. All right, let's uh, close out, reopen. Close this shit. I was not stalking anybody. All right, back in, back into our game. Back into the game. Here we go. All right. We are completely prepared. Okay, now we got this cool little button. I don't really know how this works. I saw like a. Okay, you may continue. All right, good. Edit. Edit a joint, create a joint. Release, finish. Okay, let's bind base part. Probably, what did I select? I don't know what I selected. Hopefully it was the humanoid root part, or do we want it, I think we want it off the torso, right? Oh, Roblox, why? Why'd you do that to my boy's arms? We might have to rename his arms so they don't... Yeah, and same thing with his legs. What is this? Why are your legs so smooth? He, like, shaved his legs. Okay, so we're gonna... Secondary part there. Is... Is that it? Are we... Are we good? Oh, we got the motor 6D. Okay. We're good. It's, it's created, okay? So we will call this right shoulder in the humanoid root part. Do we want it to be the humanoid root part though? I don't think we do. We want like the stuff to be in the torso, I think. Where's the torso at? Right here. Oh, this is gonna suck if I have to do this every single time because it's not gonna select the torso. Maybe I can like move this. Hold on, let's, let's move this shit. Humanoid root part, you will be up there, okay. You'll be in our hearts and our memory, but you need to get the hell out of the way. All right, so let's, you may continue, edit, bind, primary part. It's the torso, and then this. I wish it like gave me the option to like rename this as I go, but whatever. All right, this will be left shoulder. And this series, by the way, is in no means a tutorial because I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be figuring this out as as we go. Also, okay. So I guess the next thing we want to do weld this to this. Okay, and that is probably in the left shoulder. All right, where's the left shoulder? People are gonna get mad at me for not using the alt click thing. Okay, so this will be left elbow. Great. This is going to have so many motors. It's going to be amazing. All right, so we'll go here, here. Yeah, this is way faster than that other plugin I was using. Where's the right shoulder at? Right shoulder here. And this will be right elbow. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and let's, let's create the... Uh, the head movement. Well, when he moves his head, we want everything to move with it, right? And we want it to pivot from like here. Does it matter? Can I just weld it straight to the head and just call it the neck and it'll just work? Oh, how should I do this? We'll just weld it. We're going to weld the head, whatever. Okay. And that's probably appeared in the torso, right? Yeah. Okay, and this will be called the neck. Okay, 
That should be good. Um, I want a motor for inside the jaw so he can open his jaw to breathe fire or whatever. So head will be the first part and then here, hopefully. I really hope all these things pivot properly. All right, so let's see, where's the head at? I know this is taking forever. And it sucks to watch, but this is this is the, the nasty game development that everybody wanted to see. All right, so this will be the, the jaw joint, essentially. And then uh, let's go ahead and weld his legs now. So let's create this here, here. All right. All of these should appear in the torso, so this should be pretty easy. If I could find the torso, I need to stop closing it. All right, right here. And we're going to call this uh, right, right, uh, right hip. It's going to be our hip joint. And then we will create another one from the torso here. Create that. And then here. Okay. Now we're cooking. All right, left hip. Okay, and then we will go ahead and edit. I don't know why that deselected. Okay, so we'll bind here to here. We don't really need more motors, do we? Because, like, yeah, we can just use welds for the rest of this. All the motors, I think, are taken care of. How did I do the arms? I think I welded the arms wrong, didn't I? Part one. Wait. Part one. What is this? Left shoulder. Did I weld that correctly? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. I wanted, I want these shoulder pads to be welded to the torso. I totally forgot. Because we're going to have this whole thing swing back and forth. So we'll weld his little arm nubbies here to his shoulder pad things. Okay, so what did I do here? In his left hip, I need to delete that motor. So left hip delete this and this is really annoying i don't know why roblox like automatically creates goddamn welds now but like they need to stop because nobody needs that in their life okay so let's go ahead and just go through here and we're going to create welds for everything so this part connects to this part and then watch this guys alt select that i'm doing it i'm modern okay that's good Select this and then create another weld to here. There, that leg should be good. This is so fast. All right, create another weld from here to here. And then select this, weld this to this. And then <clears throat> weld, 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 weld. Okay, legs should be completely good. And then we'll weld his little arms into place. Create weld here okay fantastic everything is going according to plan all right and then we're gonna weld his little little belly together and that's all good okay and then can i just click that oh i can nice all right weld this to the torso excellent okay we are really we're making good progress now boys all right and then we'll weld this piece to here and then we're gonna weld this to the torso. Okay, that's not the torso. Weld this to here. Okay, great. And then uh, we need to do all of these parts here. So, uh, weld that to that. Shit, what am I clicking? Oh, that's the, the thing, the root part that needs to not be there. And then weld, okay, so that's the way that this is welded to here. And then this piece can be welded to the head because the head is actually going to be <clears throat> moving so we just want everything to follow off of wherever we have the head facing okay so weld this and then we need to weld the eyes okay uh that's the uh the end of the episode already i know that was really fast but um i would like to thank you guys for watching um Please like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.